Okay, so in uh, today's video, we're going to look at how to create a package and apply discount to the package. So, we do a little bit of preparation for it. First, we're gonna go to inventory app. And uh, in categories, we create we create two packages. One is package 30 AMP, second one is package 50 AMP. Then, within each package, we're going to apply items which will be part of the package. So we see we have like sport kit, popcorn, firewood, and 30 AMP, one night stay. Then we have to make sure that each of these uh, items are assigned to the categories. So for example, sport kit. We look at the categories, so we have to make sure that it has a category 30 AMP and package 50 AMP as well, because it's part of the both packages we created. This can be done in inventory itself. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to assign category to the packages and create the order types. Order types have to be created in the dashboard. And once we actually go to register, we're gonna see order types as a package 30 AMP and per package 50 AMP. Is a in this this application is available in dashboard under accounts and setups. And then third thing we have to do is to apply discount. So we're going to go to our discount app. In discount app, we're going to create two discounts which is specific to the packages. Package 30 AMP discount. We calculate that actually discount have to be about $25.35 and hit save. Then we got second discount, package 50 AMP. This one has $35.50 discount. We hit save. Okay, so now we're ready for a quick demonstration. First, we're gonna open the register. Then we're gonna pretend customer is buying package 30 AMP. So we're gonna select 30 AMP package. We're gonna go to 30 AMP package and then in our categories, select the items. Then we're going to select these three dots, add order discount, order discount is this one, just hit pay. Okay, so next step we're going to look um, from the reporting perspective, what, what actually happened here. So if you look at the receipt, the because the receipt has the items itemized, that means all these items will be removed from inventory count. Then also we can keep track of the total discounts we created in here. Also, if you like to see how many packages of 30 AMP we sold in a particular period of time, we can we have to go to dashboard and then click on reporting and go to order types. And as you can see here in the order types, you're gonna see that we sold uh, one package today for 50 AMP and four packages today for 30 AMP. If you wanna keep the track of all the items, item sales within the package, that one have to be done within the inventory and the item sales.